helpful. Like it just kind of pushes me to continue to do more. It's like if you can do this in Omaha, you can do this anywhere. Hello, this is Marco Rock. Hi, this is Marco Leroy from Marco Rock TV. I'm your host for Inside a Growing Mind, where we interview entrepreneurs, game changers, leaders on topics that matters. And today on the show, we have my friend, Cole Paulson. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. How have you been? Uh, you know, I've been busy. School, the semester's coming to an end, but I've been just keeping on. Awesome. Congratulations. I saw that you won, like, you know, an award or homecoming. What happened with that? Yeah, so I was fourth place in homecoming royalty. So that was a huge honor to be um, nominated and voted on. And yeah, so I'm very excited about that. So tell me a little bit about the award. What is entitled to it? Any prize that come with it? And I, know, um, I know you're kind of like a cool, in, you know, like a cool yes. kid, you know, it's cool with that. But tell me a little bit about the award, how you end up winning that. Yep, so it was just each organization would nominate two people to represent their organization. So from there, there was like 40. I think they were the most people they've ever had. And they narrowed it down to 10. So I made the top 10. OK, congrats. And then that was gone into a interview with alumni and then they decided I think it was votes and interview together on who was going to be homecoming royalty so I got fourth place and I got a little plaque and a sash so that's fun <laughs> like in the yes. that's okay that's pretty cool and then so you major in journalism mm -hmm. that's your major and then you have a minor as well correct yes in communication okay. studies so what what where did you decide to go to journalism I mean, the reason why I'm, I'm asking these questions is because we're living you know, with college debt, all those stuff, and then to me, it's all to make sure that college students go to a major where they're guaranteed to find a job, or more likely. Yes. So why do you, are you major like in journalism? Um, I chose journalism just because I really love entertainment news, celebrity gossip, that kind of stuff. So I know you can get a journalism, journalism is a degree that you can use wherever, no matter what job you get. Um, but I just really wanted to do like a, e-news correspondent, entertainment tonight, that kind of stuff. So I just decided that journalism was the easiest way to do it. Um, not the easiest way, but it's just what you should need and know. You should know how to write stories, you know, be on camera, all that kind of stuff. And that's what journalism has offered me here at UNL. Yeah. So I'm kind of fascinated that you all have a plan map. I want to move to LA, you have all those stuff. I mean, how do you, I mean, how do you have this new structure and maps so out and why do you choose LA? Um, I don't know why I have so much structure, but I've always known, even before I went to school, that I wanted to live in LA. I was deciding if I wanted to go to school out there and then I decided, oh, I'm just gonna do two years here, two years there, and then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna finish here. So I think now I'm just at the point where it's like, there's no more like, oh, you you can go out there, but you don't have to. So I think that's what college was, was my barrier, kind of like a stepping stone. So I got used to something else. And then now once I graduate, there's nowhere else for me to go other than LA. But I've just always loved celebrities, all that stuff. And that's really the only place that offers a market for what I want to do. Talking about celebrity, um, I noticed that uh, you're a big fan of Kim Kardashian. Huge fan. I'm the biggest fan, actually. You're the biggest fan? Yes. Wow, so you're the biggest fan. Oh, I have the title of it, of course. You have a title of it? Yes, so I was on ABC's Big Fan, a game yeah. show, and I won the whole show. So I like what? to say I'm her when biggest fan. That? that we filmed May 2016. Was that in LA? LA, yep. Yeah. So, but it aired just this J or January. So it's been almost a year since it's aired. Okay. So, have you met her personally? Yeah, she was on the show with me. She was on the show with you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How? How? I mean, tell me, how did you manage to, to get there? Um, from 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 Omaha, Nebraska, to to get to LA to be on a show with Kim Kardashian. It was a lot of purchasing products, being obsessed. Well, first you had to be obsessed, and I was obsessed. Um, but it was just so you don't just like her, you're obsessed with her. That was the sole reason I got on the show. Okay. Absolutely. So um, she tweeted that she was going to be on the show, and I didn't think of I was going to audition. Just didn't know, so I auditioned, and um, I was just I fit the super fan mold. I knew that they wanted someone a little bit crazier, so I, in my casting video, I was a little, little crazy, but they they liked it, and they just moved me on to the next round and the next round. And so, definitely to prepare me for that, I just was obsessed. It was like a it was an organic thing. I think the best things in life happen organically. Mm -hmm. So what do you like the most about Kim Kardashian? 
You know, their show is the most entertaining show. I love it. I love reality TV, so I'd love to do stuff with that as well. Um, producing or anything like that, I would think would be so much fun. And getting to do this show was like, uh, like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. But I don't know, She, her family, she's just a tight-knit group. There's so many personalities that I think it's really easy to draw you in. Um, and over 10 years I've been watching, so it's just like a, a slowly but gradually obsession. So what you draw in by her business success or the drama or the, I mean, or the fact, I mean, what, what, what aspect actually is the one that yeah. captivates you the most? I think, it ha of course, it was the entertainment value of the TV show, but then once you watch it so much and there she was just so open with her life and she was everywhere that it was easy to just personally like her features and her characteristics of who she is as a person and then it helps having all these businesses so there's just ventures that you can purchase her products and it's just more of a personal feel to a celebrity than just ones that are just solely based on their job and they don't really communicate with their fans so I think it was just an easier way for me to be obsessed because I it's I know now I know we're on a personal level not personally but I've met her personally so that adds more satisfaction to it but She's just everywhere and connects with her fans so much that it doesn't feel like she's a celebrity. It felt more like she was doing it for her fans. So what, when you met her, was there a big difference from seeing her on TV than in person? I mean, what was that? There was really no difference other than she's nine, like the most gorgeous person you've ever seen in your entire life. You know, seeing someone on TV, you don't really feel like you'll ever see them in person. So she looks exactly the same. The, her skin is flawless. She, but she was the sweetest person I've ever met. I got to speak with her off camera and that kind of stuff, and she was just super, super nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So you model as well? Yes. And you have done different show and for different designers? Mm -hmm. So I've modeled in Omaha Fashion Week for probably a, since I've been in school, so for four years, so um, a number of seasons, yeah. What, where does Thrive came from? What, what I called one be? Well, uh, I was, everyone gets their senior pictures when they graduate high school. <laughs> and a lot of people were just like, oh, these pictures are really, really good. And I wanted to do my senior pictures like a photo shoot, just because, or like a model photo shoot, because I didn't know if I'd ever get to experience that. So I'm like, okay, let's just go all out, get tons of outfits. And I just took those um, photos to an agency here, Develop Model Management in Omaha, and they gave me a contract that day when I showed up. Really? And then I've just been doing things with them ever since. Just between that photo shooting that you give it to them to edit, they love it and they just give you a contract. Yes, yeah. That's amazing. I know, so it was really, it was um, exciting. So what, what you love the most about the modeling part of it, being on the other different show, what's, what you love the most about it? Um, the best thing I love about the modeling experience is just the self-confidence it gave me. Um, I took classes and kind of just meeting tons of new people, but it definitely gave me such self-confidence and also a drive on how to be professional just because you are, when you're doing these shoots and these jobs, you're there for a reason. You want to get it done as quick as possible or however long they need you there. So it definitely gave me the self-confidence just to be comfortable with my own skin and then also just how to be professional and deal with other models, photographers, stylists, all that kind of stuff. Interesting. Yeah. And then something that you you think to pursue in the future, uh, being on a bigger platform, yeah. uh, things like that. Absolutely. I feel like modeling is a really good way to get into TV, television hosting. I know there's tons of models that are TV hosts or correspondents, that kind of stuff. So that was kind of a drive of mine just because I knew you want to get as much of a portfolio built before you actually go off. And I um, knew before I graduated, I needed to do as many things as possible. And modeling was definitely one of my favorite things that I did to build my portfolio. So let's talk about branding. Uh, so that being a model, all those, so you have to brand yourself out there. So what tips uh, do you have for like, you know, let's say other peers, other millennials who want to brand themselves, whatever in the field? I would say branding is just kind of like, for me, it's just personal preference of what I like and I feel like that's an easy way. I feel like it's a lot easier to brand yourself when you're branding your own person than it is um, like a company or anything, just because there's more guidelines. When it's yourself, you can kind of just be more easy breezy, just go with the flow and do whatever you want to do. But I think it's important to get the social media handles that have your name, get like posts on social media. And if you want to do entertainment stuff, then you need to do entertainment stuff. If you want to do sports stuff, then you need to talk about sports stuff. Um, I love reality TV, so I talk a whole bunch about the Kardashians on my social media and just kind of filming myself and making a brand for myself. So I think it's good to have a brand that is consistent with what you want to do. And then just to kind of just, because if people see that and they're like, oh my gosh, this. 
this guy would be perfect for something else. It's just all correlates. Okay, cool. And I, and I'm gonna commend you. Like you know, you pick up your clothes really nice. Oh, you thank you. So, what tip do you have for people to to dress, to look good, to dress professionally, and where do you shop? I shop uh, mostly online. I'm a huge online shopper, just with ASOS and Zara and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know. I feel like just the way you want to be presented, it goes back to your brand. It's just how you want to be presented. If you like to dress up, you like to dress up. If for me, if for my brand. Fashion is in that because I am a model. I do that kind of stuff. But if not, I mean, I wear sweatpants and stuff to class. So it's just kind of when you know you're going to be presentable is when I would say dress your best just because I probably wear workout clothes every day just because of class. But when I have things I need to be on camera for or meeting people I actually want to impress, definitely dress up. Mm, that's pretty cool. So who are the people that inspire the most? Um, I feel like you always have to, yourself needs to inspire you the most. So I really... I mean, that's, I mean, that's, I don't hear that very often. Yeah. All my interviews. Maybe it's just because I'm so self-centered and conceited, <laughs> but I inspire myself. But I feel like whatever you do, I've just been like, everything that I've accomplished in the four years I've been in school is just like, wow. Like, it just kind of pushes me to continue to do more. It's like, if you can do this in Omaha, you can do this anywhere. Yeah. So I, I love that. Yeah. But I think having a support system of your family is inspiring. And, um, you know, I, the Kardashians always inspire me just because they're entertaining. But yeah. So if you had to have lunch with anyone, live or from history, not Kim Kardashian, yes. who would that be? Not Kim, because you not know Kim. I would pick Kim right away. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Let's I exclude see. that. I probably would either choose, I'd probably want to do a duo lunch with Ryan Seacrest and Juliana Rancic. Okay. Just because they, well probably just Ryan Seacrest because he does producing and hosting, but those two really are big inspirations because they are in the entertainment industry and they're on my favorite news source, E! News. But, just to kind of see how they, because they did, they're more of a celebrity now than they were when they started. So it's how they branded themselves and just kind of how they got into the industry and how they found their passions to do other things like Ryan Seacrest produces, he's a radio host. Um, and then Juliana Rancic has clothing lines and all that stuff. So kind of just, I would want to sit down with those two for sure. So you have an entrepreneurship mindset that I can see that. And is there anything you want to venture into like in the future? Oh, absolutely. I feel like when you are obsessed with reality TV, you see a variety of people who are starting the show and then they make a brand for themselves and that brand involves businesses. So I feel like I definitely would like to venture into businesses when I get older. I don't know if it'll be a clothing store or a skincare or whatever it is. I feel like whatever you find passion, I love spray tanning, so heck, I might come up with a spray tan line, but you never know. So it just kind of depends. Yeah. But I definitely don't think I'll start soon just because businesses I feel like are very pricey and I can probably can't afford to just pop out a million dollar business. But um, definitely in the long run, I will for sure want to open up some businesses. That's pretty cool. If you had a power to change one thing in the world right now, what would that be? I think I'd probably just want equality for all. Just kind of everyone to just accept everyone and um, not take everything life too seriously and just, just be happy. Just be happy. Yeah. Love that. What will be your last uh, tips or advice to my viewers? Just chase your dreams. I live by the motto, if you want it, take it. So go if for it. If you want it, take it. Yeah. It's an Ariana Grande song, okay. but it's a good, uh, I like I that line. That. Yeah. <laughs> so I always just live by the motto, whatever you want, it's possible if you just go for it and do your best. Awesome. Cool. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.